resistance or like they, she should take the most amount of damage um so let's proc this let's do this and then we will just uh go for tarmiel i guess even though i'm just gonna forfeit after this or not forfeit but cut to the next match bro lilia is so goddamn hot my god 500k 500k no all right ladies and gentlemen guess what it is a finally a pvp video after about a week and a half now since diane dropped i think uh we're gonna be doing pvp uh so if you enjoy these hit that like button you know uh we're gonna be doing attack gear on lilia that's basically the only thing different uh she doesn't have the highest attack because i basically have like no no anvils or uh, hammers but everything else is completely maxed you know with the relic uh, we're going to be bringing this team because it's probably one of her best teams. I know I could use Arthur, but realistically, I real I, I just don't really like Arthur. Um, but if you have a suggestion for a PvP video, comment down below. I'm not going to do any weird, wacky teams, really. Like, I kind of want to try out Shin. I don't think he's too wacky. He's actually pretty darn good with his relic. Um, but, I, like, some people are like, oh, use this one weird niche unit. And how are you 230k CC at okay um if this is a real player i'm going to be absolutely surprised i absolutely doubt it but um i think we do this the, okay it's not okay okay i kind of figured it wasn't but you never know you never know um let's do this this and this and then let's just see how much damage does a rank one do all right some max passive 167k, no curve. Alright, I'm gonna just cut to the next match, obviously, because this is obviously a bot, but... Alright, oh, this team is pretty popular. Um, Also, guys, I'm curious, what do you guys think of the holy relics of, like, King, uh, Fat King, Helbrim, and um, the other one? What is the other one? Um, Gurheed. Uh, I'm quite curious what you guys actually think of it. Um, in my opinion, I should have debuffed first, because obviously they don't have a void food, but whatever. Uh, like... I, the the original king one sounds like it's pretty good um the fat king one is probably just a really big cc boost because i know he one of them used to be on the cc team um but they need to rework the actual unit not just like a new passive it doesn't really do anything to a unit that has day one garbage stats in my opinion uh, i'll probably go into its own video on that but god this is the worst outfit to put with the dark gother Oh, we're actually going to go Challenger. Oh, shit. I didn't realize I was this close. And whatever, honestly. I need to get to Challenger anyways. I need those uh, coins. You know what I'm saying, boyos? Alright. We're facing a Margaret team. Probably avoid food. So what I do here... Uh, I'm probably going to attack with Keo. This is... I feel like this is how you probably should play the Keo team. In my humble opinion... Or the Lilia team, I guess. No avoid food, really. Are you rocking defense food or are you a bot? Hmm, suspicious. Another reason I'm bringing um, Gother is because I keep running into Triple Archangel. And if they get up that Goddess of the Shield, I just can't really do anything too much. So that's why I'm rocking the uh, Fest Gother, because I think she's actually, or Gother is really, really good. Also, unlucky, this is bot. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this again. Uh, I'm just going to do this, and I honestly want to see what a rank 3 uh, will do. If they just don't have a shield or buff or anything, please don't have a stance. That's mainly what I'm hoping for here. Oh, he'll probably just have a drain though, huh? unlucky but eh, i'm testing out the rank three so it's fine okay no stance beautiful now i feel like i should test on goddess liz because she should technically have uh like the least amount of like damage resistance or like they, she should take the most amount of damage um so let's proc this let's do this and then we will just uh go for tarmi i guess even though i'm just gonna forfeit after this or not forfeit but cut to the next match Bro, Lilia is so goddamn hot. My god. 500k. 500k. No crit. I remember Nagato making a video 
saying, oh my god, she's so good, or uh, Red Shin is the better than Lilia. I, I think Lilia is still a better DPS. If she crit, if she had Saria Link, and uh, she had type, or type advantage, I think she would have done more damage than Shin, in my humble opinion. But uh, yeah, let's just uh, jump to the next match, I guess. Alright, oh, Summer Merlin. Okay, so now this is a, one good reason why I like to have a bunch of debuff cards, and this is why I think Red Roxy is a good substitute if you don't have Keo. Uh, I should have said that at the beginning of the video, but like a debuff unit like Red Roxy. Um, MK2, I guess, but it's not AoE, so it's not the best. Um, I think what we do here, you have Evade, let's do this. Let me proc this, and then, oh, the revive. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if it happens to, like, to Melly. Uh, if we, like, kill him, then he revives. Like, it's, like, whatever. We're mainly just stopping the shield. That's all I'm really doing. <laughs> we actually only got attack cards. Unlucky. Uh, but we could get Kyo's ultimate. Yeah, this is definitely a real player. Maybe not, actually. They're from Eska Bros. Yeah, it seems like they only attack Kyo. Okay, this is probably a bot. Unlucky. <laughs> um, yeah, we have to just do this. We just want to make sure that they can't obviously put up the shield or anything. Unlucky. If only they had Gother, then this would be a so much better team because then we block out at least two of their cards. But we don't. Um, oh, he's getting buffs. Oh, no. Okay, no attack seal. No single target? Okay, so this is a bot. Epic. Um, yeah, we're, we're killing, we're killing Melly. We are killing Melly right now. Um, so what we could do is we can do this, this, and then we'll do this. Uh, the, this card that Diane is going to be getting, uh, on Global uh, on Tuesday is really good in my opinion. Like, I think it's an underrated card. It's really, really nice. I, I don't understand bottom of the back. I think it's such a stupid idea in my opinion. It's probably one of my least favorite units in the back because it's just like, what does he do? If you don't have HP support, he literally just does nothing. Literally the only thing keeping him alive is Summer Merlin. Oh my God. Okay, well. Let's do this, let's do this, and then let's get rid of this AoE card. Now, hopefully we kill Goddess Liz. I don't want her to have a stun. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Thesgother do be putting in work. Thesgother do be putting in work. Oh, I got rid of the attack uh, seal. I didn't even know that was a thing if you kill her. Okay, I like that. That's pretty epic. And now, as you can see, Bond basically does nothing. Like, yes, he does have... Uh, he could get an ultimate, but like, I'm just going to murder him. <laughs> 258,000. I should have done the right two first. Bro, Lily out DPS is Red Shin. I don't care. If I hit that rank three on a weak green unit, like Nagato did, and she crit, because Shin guarantees crit, so it's a bit unfair to compare to that, I would have done more. Than his like 670 or whatever it was easily easily and if I had sorry on link so uh yeah let's uh, hop to the next one. Oh, we go first okay so we're checking for a void food a hundred percent because if we patience this debuff card we basically will probably lose because King does not do well on rank ones um, I don't see the point in doing that. Actually, let's do this. Then this. Uh, it's a bot. Okay. Never mind. So let's just uh, absolutely annihilate his king. And then we'll just jump to the next match. Uh, I, I really do like Lily with attack defense gear. Like, no cap. Like, I, it feels really nice. Uh, now, obviously, I don't think attack crit gear is good. Because she just, as you can tell, never crits. <laughs> but uh, I think it's pretty good. I do think it's pretty good. So, uh if you don't want to make HP defense gear for Lilia, I can see why you wouldn't, because she does do significantly more damage, about twenty to 30,000 more damage 
on a rank one from what I can see. Cause she usually does around like 140, 150K on rank ones. So, um, kinda wanna kill you, but I also kinda just wanna kill Gother cause ranking up is pretty annoying. So let's just try this. Yeah, let's just uh, cut to the next match. 267,000 damage. God damn, and there's not a singular red unit. Yep, next match will probably be the final one. All right, we are back. Final match. It looks like it's another bot, because unfortunately I'm playing at 1 a.m. because I was playing Elden Ring all day. I love that game, guys. Like, I honestly highly recommend it, and we just slap. Yeah, I highly recommend, honestly, just making two sets. Um, if you're pushing... Then obviously you might want to go HP defense just so that you make sure you go first or have a higher chance to. But if you're just having fun, you want to see big numbers, attack defense seems really, really solid. I can't lie. Now I see why Rosa made it because she did the exact same thing. She gave Lilia attack defense. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more PvP teams, comment down below. I'll uh, try to get to some. I'm just trying to get back into the swing of doing PvP. Like... I don't want to burn myself out like I did uh, back around when like Margaret and uh, Fest go for drop. It just killed me because just constantly seeing the same team over and over and over again is just really not fun. Um, let's kill Keo actually. That's who we should kill. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll. Uh, ooh, Lilia crit. Out of like nine hits, she crit once. Nice. We do have the crit chance and crit damage down though, so, you know. Oh. Oh no, he can't rank 2, so he can only use a rank 1. Easy W. I really hope we, uh, get, like, better relics in the game. I was gonna say something about Lilia, like a new blue Lilia. I'm like, wait, why would we get a new blue Lilia? I want better relics in the game. For older units, I don't think a singular fest should get any relics besides Lost Vein. I think that's the only one that deserves it. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you guys have an absolutely amazing day, I highly recommend this team. If you have it, go for it. If you only have Red Lilia, do not use her. She is horrible. Uh, except on the Bond team, she's not bad, but she's just not recommended. But uh, yeah, take care and peace out.